Have you ever pondered the mystery of Easter Island, home to the gigantic stone statues known as Moai? Well, you're not alone. This remote island, a speck in the vast Pacific Ocean, has intrigued explorers, historians, and scientists for centuries. Its most striking feature, the Moai, are giant stone figures that stand proudly on the island, silently keeping guard. These statues, some towering over 30 feet high and weighing as much as 80 tons, weren't carved and left in place. No, they were moved. Some were transported over 20 kilometers from the quarry where they were carved. And that's where the enigma starts. How did the island's inhabitants, with no advanced tools or technology, move these behemoths, and why? But the mystery doesn't stop there. The civilization that created these wonders vanished, leaving only the silent stone guardians behind. Theories abound, overhunting, resource depletion, internal conflict, but no one knows for sure. The once thriving society that populated this island disappeared, leaving us with more questions than answers. Easter Island or Rapa Nui as it's known to its earliest inhabitants is a place of mystery and intrigue. Its history is a complex tapestry woven with threads of ingenuity, resilience, and ultimately, disappearance. We're left to marvel at the Moai, these enormous testaments to human creativity and ambition, and wonder about the people who created them. So, have scientists finally unraveled the mystery of Easter Island? Let's delve in. First off, how did the islanders move these colossal stone figures? Recent research provides some fascinating insights. Imagine for a moment, a time long past when the inhabitants of Easter Island, known as the Rapa Nui, undertook the monumental task of carving and moving these gigantic stone figures, the Moai. How, you might ask, were they able to transport these monoliths, some of which weighed up to 80 tons across the island's rugged terrain? Well, it appears that theories of extraterrestrial intervention or superhuman strength can be put to rest. Recent archaeological investigations suggest that the Moai were likely moved in a more straightforward, albeit labor-intensive, manner. The islanders may have used a combination of rolling, sliding, and even walking the statues into place. It's thought that the Rapa Nui carved the Moai out of volcanic tuff at the Rano Raraku Quarry. From there, the statues were probably transported on sled-like contraptions made from the island's native trees. The islanders would have attached ropes to the sleds, allowing groups of people to pull and steer the statues over specially prepared roads. But the walking theory is perhaps the most intriguing. The Rapa Nui might have rocked the statues from side to side while pulling forward, creating the illusion that the Moai were walking. Experimental archaeology has shown this method to be plausible, with a team successfully walking a replica Moai using only ropes, manpower and a lot of coordination. These theories, while not completely proven, offer an interesting glimpse into the ingenuity and determination of the Rapa Nui. Transporting the Moai would have required not just physical strength, but also a high degree of organization, cooperation, and technical knowledge. These findings shed new light on the impressive capabilities of the island's inhabitants. They remind us that, even thousands of years ago, human beings were capable of remarkable feats of engineering. While the transportation of the Moai is fascinating, their purpose and the fate of the civilization that created them are equally intriguing. Let's delve into the theories surrounding the purpose of these gargantuan stone figures. Recent studies suggest that the Moai were more than just grand artistic endeavors. They were believed to represent the ancestors of the island's inhabitants. This reverence for ancestry is a common thread in many ancient cultures, and it seems the Easter Islanders were no different. The Moai were likely a physical manifestation of their ancestors' presence, watching over and protecting their descendants. But the Moai were not just silent watchers. They are believed to have played a significant role in religious ceremonies. Imagine the scene. An island community gathered around these towering figures, the air filled with the chants of priests and the whispers of the wind, the Moai standing tall, silent witnesses to the islanders' rites and rituals. However, the civilization that built these impressive monuments didn't stand the test of time. The reasons behind its collapse are as intriguing as the Moai themselves. Overhunting is one theory. The island's isolation could have led to the rapid depletion of local fauna, a critical food source for the islanders. Another theory points to resource scarcity. The construction and transportation of the Moai required considerable resources, particularly wood. The island's forests might have been exhausted in the process, leading to environmental degradation and resource shortages. Internal conflicts could also have played a part. 
As resources dwindled, competition among the island's clans might have intensified, leading to strife and warfare. The civilization that once flourished under the watchful eyes of the Moai might have fallen victim to its own success. These theories provide some compelling explanations but many questions remain. The enigma of the Moai and the civilization that created them continues to intrigue us, keeping the spirit of exploration and discovery alive. Despite these breakthroughs, Easter Island continues to hold on to its secrets. Indeed, in the world of archaeology, each answer often paves the way to new questions and Easter Island is no exception. One such question revolves around the direction the statues known as Moai are facing. While some gaze out to sea, others peer inland. The reasoning behind this orientation remains elusive. Some experts propose that the statues facing inland were watching over the inhabitants, while those facing outwards were guarding the island from external threats. However, this theory is far from universally accepted, and the debate continues. Moving on, let's delve into the mysterious script of the islanders, known as Rongorongo. This system of glyphs, etched onto wooden tablets, is one of the last undeciphered scripts in the world. Despite numerous attempts, the key to understanding Rongorongo has yet to be found. Some believe it tells the history of the island while others suggest it's a form of prayer, or even a type of calendar. The truth however remains hidden, locked within the enigmatic symbols. Last but not least, we turn our attention to the stone quarries where many Moai were left unfinished. These in-progress statues raise intriguing questions, why were they abandoned midway through construction? Was it due to resource constraints, internal conflicts, or perhaps a shift in religious beliefs? Again, the answers are not clear-cut. Archaeologists continue to investigate, hopeful that these stone giants will eventually yield their secrets. These enduring mysteries remind us that there is still much to learn about this fascinating island. As we peel back the layers of history, we're continually reminded that understanding the past is a complex and ongoing endeavor. Easter Island, with its silent sentinels and lingering enigmas, serves as a potent symbol of our relentless quest for knowledge. So, where does this leave us in our understanding of Easter Island? Our exploration has taken us on a journey through time, uncovering the mysteries of the colossal stone figures known as Moai and the civilization that crafted them. We've learned that these statues, far from being mere stone carvings, may have been significant cultural symbols, representing the ancestors of the islanders and playing a pivotal role in religious ceremonies. We've also delved into theories on how the islanders might have transported these massive sculptures. It's been suggested that they could have been moved relatively easily by rolling and using wooden sleds, countering the previously held belief that their transportation would have required almost impossible feats of strength and engineering. Theories on the collapse of the island's civilization point to overhunting, resource scarcity, and internal conflict. Yet these are only pieces of a larger puzzle. We have to remember, the faces of the Moai that gaze out in different directions, the undeciphered script of the islanders, and the unfinished statues left in the quarries, are all mysteries that remain unsolved. While we've come a long way in understanding Easter Island's past, there's still much to discover. The enigmatic island, with its silent stone sentinels, continues to challenge our perceptions and push the boundaries of our knowledge. Ongoing research and excavations aim to deepen our understanding of the island's history and culture, peeling back the layers of mystery that have long shrouded this remote corner of the world. The quest to unlock the secrets of Easter Island is far from over. The work of dedicated researchers continues to yield new insights, each discovery bringing us one step closer to understanding the island's intriguing past. As the enigma of Easter Island continues to intrigue us, researchers persist in their quest to unveil its secrets. Stay curious and who knows, perhaps the next big discovery is just around the corner.